Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're gonna to be going over uh, how to tee up the ball with different clubs in your bag. There are gonna be three basic positions that you're gonna to need uh, to know uh, because you're not always gonna be using your driver. The first is gonna be using uh, your irons off a tee. The next is going to be using your smaller headed woods, kind of like a hybrid or a three wood. And the last one is going to be using your larger headed driver. Uh, now to understand why these are gonna be different, uh, different heights, there are two basic principles that you need to know about teeing up the ball. The first is that the main reason that you're gonna to wanna to tee up the ball is to just have a clear and consistent contact with the ball. Because if you're teeing it up on the, if you're just setting the ball on the ground, uh, you might have to deal with different lies. Sometimes it's gonna be a little bit longer grass. So teeing up the ball is gonna have a clear contact with the ball every single time. And second, it's also to help get the ball up, the, up off the ground because the higher you have the ball, the easier it is to let the club get underneath the ball. So with the first position, I'm gonna be using uh, an eight iron here and you're gonna to want to set up the ball with a tee. You can use any length of tee. Sometimes they have, uh, there are short iron tees that you can use specifically for using an iron. Uh, I'm just using a regular longer tee just for sake of ease here. Um, and what you're gonna to wanna to do is have the ball be all the way almost touching the ground, but not quite. It's gonna be maybe a fraction of an inch above the ground. And so it's gonna look very similar to this. And the reason you don't want it any higher than this is because irons are already lofted higher than every other part, of, than, every, than your woods, for example. So because of that, they're already gonna be able to get the ball off of the ground extremely easily. So really the main point of teeing up the ball with an iron is to be able to have a clear, consistent contact every single time. So when you set up to the ball, the ball should be maybe only a fraction of an inch above the ground and you should be able to have a clear way to get to the ball at impact every single time and so you shouldn't need to adjust your swing at all you should be able to have a consistent swing you can still make a divot with this but it's going to be a lot easier to make contact with the ball and get that ball up in the air and so Moving on to your woods, I have a hybrid here, but this is gonna be the same principle that you need uh, with any wood that isn't your driver because every other wood is going to have a much smaller head to it. And so the reason for this is that you want to tee up the ball just a little bit higher than what your irons were. Now a good rule of thumb starting with your woods is that the ball should be maybe about half a ball half of the ball should be above your, your club head. So what I mean is that when I set up the, the club here, about half of the ball should be sticking up above the club, and that's gonna give you a clear, consistent shot underneath, and it's also gonna let the club get up underneath the ball when at impact. And so because uh, all the different woods have different heights, uh, hybrids are sometimes a little bit smaller headed than uh, maybe a five wood or a three wood, uh, that's just gonna be a good rule of thumb that you can apply to any of your clubs. So as you set up, that ball's gonna be a little bit higher than your iron and you should be able to get underneath the ball because uh, the hybrids and your woods are not nearly as lofted as your irons, but they still have a little bit more loft than your driver. So they're able to get up off the ground even easier than, your, than what your, normally your driver would be. So as you set up, notice that the ball is about halfway above my club, and that's gonna give me a good, clear, consistent impact every single time when I tee up the ball. And now lastly, for your driver, uh, there are different driver heads that have very large heads. Some of them are uh, rather smaller. There's a whole different series uh, that you can go into uh, by just going off the different sizes of club heads. So the same rule of thumb applies that when you're teeing up the ball, your ball should be about halfway above the driver head. So for me, because I have a little bit larger of a club head, it's gonna be a little bit higher than maybe some others. So when I set up, that ball should be a lot higher than what you would have for your irons and even my hybrid. And that's gonna be sticking up about halfway above the driver head. And so the reason for that is because the driver is the least lofted club in your bag. And so because of that, you wanna give it as much opportunity to get up off the ground as you possibly can, because obviously the grass isn't gonna be in play at all here. So that second principle is absolutely vital that you wanna be able to have every chance that you can to get that club lofted and in the air. 
So as you set up, you'll notice that when I come in and swing, I'm gonna be able to get underneath the ball extremely easily, easily and have that club launch that ball up off the club face every single time. So with every single one of your clubs, you can play around with how much you like to uh, tee it up, especially with your irons. There's a lot of wiggle room there. You can tee it up a little bit higher, a little bit lower. It's however you like to have a preference. And you can play around with as much as you like because it's ultimately your personal game that you can use however you like. And so that's the beauty of golf. You can have it customized in every way that will suit your personal playing style. So I hope this clears up any questions and uh, hopefully this will give you a few more opportunities to have better consistent shots off the tee. And if you have any other questions, leave them in the comment section below. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you guys next time.